Do you remember sitting in the car with your siblings in the back seat and you had that like imaginary line in between you that if they crossed that line, you knew you were just gonna mess them up? Look, you're getting awfully close to my line right now with your hand over. Keep your hand in your space or I will I will slap you. I will slap you across your kindergarten chin. Don't make me take my seatbelt off. I'm tell, do not touch my side. That's it. <laughs> Anyway, I think this is essentially the same thing. This is car jitsu. Jiu jitsu, but it's two cars doing jiu jitsu against each other. It's like the Transformers, I think. I believe that's my understanding of it. They call him Beef. He's a pro mixed martial artist and holds. Oh, I was gonna say, Beef's a really weird name for a car. Like, who would name their car Beef? I guess it's a weird name for a human, too. Blue belt currently in Brazilian jiu jitsu, but this is his first appearance at Car Jitsu Championship. Gurky received a phone call last night that a last minute shake- Sorry, is his actual last name Jerky? Did he just say Jerky? Is Beef his nickname and Jerky's his real last name? Do they call him Beef Jerky or do they just call him Beef? There's so many questions. Card had created an opening and James Beef Gurky. Beef. He jumped at the opportunity to compete. However, his opponent is not to be taken lightly. It's <laughs> Ham Sandwich. Coming in at 312 ounces, Ham Sandwich. That's a big sandwich. 19 year old Jiu Jitsu phenom, Jeremiah Boone. Jeremiah Boone and Beef Gurky sound like they are from every town in West Virginia I've ever heard of. Where, what is the origin story behind this? With an extensive background in competitive grappling, Jeremiah is always hungry for a win. Jeremiah is 12. You can tell me this young man is 19 years old. Jeremiah is 12. Jeremiah doesn't look like he's legally allowed. He's not of legal age to eat beef jerky yet. Even if it means summoning a chee ball to finish his opponent. I like him. I'm rooting for Jeremiah. The other guy's name is Beef Gurky, so it's hard to fight against that, but like. We're ready for our second match. We have Jeremiah Boone. James Woo! Boone. This is a catch weight, 130 against 160. So we. Uh, we That's have a big difference. So we're gonna flip the coin. I'm gonna have you call it Jeremiah. Call it in the air. Heads. It is heads. Oh, car jujitsu is just flipping a coin. Oh, that's simple enough. I thought it was gonna be like them wrestling inside of a car. I didn't realize it was just picking heads or tails for a coin flip. Man, that's really just a 50-50. Well, th their weight dif their weight difference doesn't matter. Okay, I'll, I'll end the bit now, that's, that's enough. Do choose, would you like the driver's side or the passenger? I'll be passenger. Okay, go ahead and get in there, inspect that vehicle. He's got 30 seconds. Will I talk to you, James? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, no, if you're in the passenger seat, you're way better off, right? You don't have that Big old steering wheel in the way. James, the reason, the reason that this is a catchway is because you didn't even know you were gonna do it. Someone backed out, right? Yeah, I uh, stepped up uh, last minute. They said uh, maybe needed someone at 160, and uh, I was like, screw it, we'll try it out. Are there weapons in the car? Why did he tell him to inspect the car? What else is in that car that isn't in regular cars? <laughs> is there like a tire iron somewhere that he's just gonna <laughs> like just choke him out with? Is that allowed? Are you allowed to use the seatbelt? He messaged me yesterday, said there's a stud at 35, we'll do a catch weight. Hey, Beef Gurky, we've got a 12 year old at 130 pounds and we'd really like to see you wrestle him from the passenger seat of a car. Sorry, the driver's side of a car. You know why Jeremiah picked the passenger seat? <laughs> he can't drive it. <laughs> He's not familiar with that surrounding at all. <laughs> okay, enough Jeremiah. The competitors begin seated with safety belts fastened. When the match starts, they unbuckle and engage using any- Oh my gosh, look, now the things, whoever drives this car next is gonna have to readjust that. You should check them anyway every time you get into the car. This message is brought to you by Sensei Seth. Using any part of the vehicle to their advantage. Points may be awarded during the match, but have no bearing on the outcome. This is what I want to do every single time I see one of those feet driving across the road. You ever done that? You've been like riding in the car and you're driving, all of a sudden you see some person on obviously a long drive. They'll like sit up in their seat like this and they've got their feet out the window and they think they're just so cute with their nasty freaking athlete foot toes hanging out the window. This is what I want to do to them. Do I know how to do an ankle lock? No, but I bet I could do it if I go fast enough which in a car you are, I don't know where that joke is going. It takes a submission to mm. win the round at Car Jitsu Championship. If the bout is even after two rounds, we go to a third round and possibly sudden death to decide a winner. Fighters, buckle in. On the left side of your screen, you'll see Jeremiah Boone. 
On the right, James Gerke. And we're off. Jeremiah gets the jump on Gerke and immediately steps over into the driver's seat. Clearly has better experience taking off the seatbelt than Beef Gerke. I want to get trapped behind the steering wheel. We saw that earlier tonight. That is mm -hmm. a good place to be. Oh, but he moves over to the passenger seat. The passenger seat. That's what I said. I'm going to mute him, even though he probably knows more about what he's talking about here. Okay, so he goes into mount. Oh, interesting. He goes to pull the... Wow, what a smart move. He pulls the thing down, goes for an arm bar. Now, that wouldn't have been available if that... Oh, the seats go all the way down. Wouldn't have been available if he hadn't put the seat down. Let's see what he does next. Oh, he tries to roll out of it, but not a lot of room to roll inside of a car. In fact, most cars are designed to not roll because that's, you know, pretty scary to be in a car that's rolling. He does seem to have gotten out of the arm bar. He's twisted his way out of it. We end up in north-south here. He's going for an ankle pick. Not an ankle pick, an ankle lock. I'm sorry, I don't know jujitsu. And now it looks as if Jeremiah is getting pushed into the past. Jeremiah is being shoved into the glove box. <laughs> like a registration of an angry citizen who had just been given a speeding ticket, Jeremiah is shoved into the glove box. He is now seated in the passenger side floorboard. God, this got to hurt, right? Left wrist of Jeremiah, and it looks like he might be looking to lay back with his own arm bar here. I don't know. I don't know how much he could possibly get done there. The temperature inside the car is now 88 degrees. You can hear the laboring breath. Why is it so hot in there? What horrible mother left their two children in the hot car in the middle of summer? Obviously, they're going to fight. Looks like he's going for that arm bar now. Less than 90 seconds left in the first round. Gurky still fiddling with the arms of Jeremiah. Jeremiah is making no effort to get out of the floorboard. Looks like he's just going to ride it out. Okay, round two starts. It's essentially four points to three because the jujitsu points. Nobody's gotten a submission yet. Jeremiah gets the jump again. Step Looks like he's going for a seat. guillotine. Gurky catches him, tries to force him into the back seat. And Jeremiah nope, lost it. Pulled guard. Oh, Looking for a triangle. Triangle attempt. Nope. Smash is passed. Space here in the passenger seat. Gurky's going to go ahead and pass. And now Jeremiah is in a vulnerable position. His right foot is hanging outside of the car. Ah! Ah! Uh, but in the struggle now, Gurky's going to. Uh, oh, gosh, he gets elbowed. Oh, but he took his back. Back now. Looks like Jeremiah with four, four points. points Do the limousine trick. Put your head out the roof, the sunroof. Jeremiah has eight points on our leaderboard for the season. Gurky with three. And at this point in the match, it is just over 90 degrees inside the vehicle. Turn the AC on. Could some, I mean, I can understand why you wouldn't turn this car on, but like put a fan through the back or something. See, in my day, this was a lot harder. In my day, when me and my siblings did this, the car was moving. The car's not even moving right now. This looks very difficult and it looks very laboring. Jeremiah up by a lot here with the back take. Barely squeezed into that passenger seat. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if they could make a move to pull the seat back or let the seat down. Nobody is in the rear of the car, so we're not really worried about the car hitting the knees of any backside passengers. This is a very uncomfortable position for Jeremiah. He's got his back on the armrest between the seats. He's pressing his head down. Now he's going to post ah, Jeremiah's head. No better place to put beef. Okay, so it goes to sudden death. Both people move to the back seat of the car. I wish I could give you more play-by-play -play on what's happening. I could be wrong, but this whole thing gives the vibe of like, your mom picked up a hitchhiker. <laughs> And you're just like the first line of defense while you're flying down the highway. That's how this is going to play out. Don't let this guy get to the driver. Or Jeremiah. Jeremiah, I mean, they both look like stud wrestlers. I mean, he definitely has a better start right off the jump. And it looks like, yes, Gurky's out, and he's going to try to come around the backside here. Jeremiah's having none of that, so he's going to... Jeremiah takes the back. Man, there's just so many more options than I could have ever guessed for beating somebody up in the backseat. Now Jeremiah's in a tough spot. All I'm saying is, is this sport would be much more effective if you allowed pinching, noogies, a sternum rubs. Did I say pinching? Pinching would definitely help. Slaps to bare skin on the belly. Like, like that would make a big difference. If you just allowed those things, dude, this sport would skyrocket. And honestly, I mean, this is kind of fun to watch. Rear windshield starting to fog up. At least it's not leather seats, right? Like, it could be worse. Okay, so then they go into overtime. Their points are tied. He's just got a pass guard to win. And I guess Jeremiah would have to sweep him. I mean, this is going to be a hard spot for Jeremiah. Gurky's had his beef hanging out for much of the match. Should we just end the video there?
Gurky's in a bad spot. Here. Oh, look. I just gets smashed into the back seat. Oh, he looks like he's going to go for that foot lock one more time. And boom, his forehead goes right down into the seat. That's a, that's a pass. Is it not a pass? What a nice little yeah, scramble here. Jeremiah's in a good position here, but there's a pass. pass. And it three looks like that's going to be the fight, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Wait, Jeremiah got the three points? That should have been for... I'm so confused. I thought Gurky won that. Anyway, I don't really know enough about jiu-jitsu. It seems like a fun sport. I think they only have three videos on this channel. But this is like a new and upcoming thing. So I figured I'd share it with you guys on the channel. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty enjoyable. And I'm definitely going to try some of those moves next time I want to beat somebody up in a car. I'm just telling you, like sternum rubs, noogies, fish hooking, just like small stuff, just like little, little slaps. I think it would change the game. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go.